Hi there. Um, first of all, kind of a little disclaimer, really. Um, even though this is a Raven pump that I'm going to be stripping down in a minute, um, this is in no way sort of saying that Raven stuff's crap or anything like that. Um, I do say that it is a very cheap pump. Um, but on the other end of the scale, um, it's the, the American pumps are exactly the same. They're just a beefed up version of this. You know, it's like buying when they were around Woolworths batteries, you know, for 20p for eight or buying Duracell for like 40 quid for eight. Um, similar sort of thing. You know, you only get what you pay for. These are perfectly good for what he builds them to do. Um, he only designs them to go on 12 volt, although you can put them on 24 volt, in my opinion, reasonably safely. And they do move a lot quicker. Um, but as I say, Raven builds his stuff to go on 12 volt and it's absolutely perfect for it. You know, it's, it's, you know, it, uh, it'll last forever sort of thing. You know, the, it's like a, you know, performance engine in a car. You start beefing things up, things are going to break. So, and that's exactly what's happened in this situation. Um, if you're watching this video um, and you don't know why I'm stripping this pump down, look up my previous videos. I think it's um, Reese's Euro Low, It All Goes Wrong or something like that. I, I titled it. Um, so yeah, look up that video and you'll see exactly why I broke it. So there we go. Um, hope you enjoy this. Um, this is like a bit of a pre-introduction. So let's start off with the video itself. Thank you. <laughs> and another little by the way, if you don't know who Raven is, Google him or look him up on Facebook. He builds some awesome cars. Um, really good stuff. So his fabrication works pretty damn good. So look him up. If you don't have heard of him, look him up. Raven Hydraulics. Hello, YouTube. Um, Today, we're going to be taking this pump apart. This is off of uh, Reese's Euro Low. Um, just need to find out what's broken on it. I suspect it's going to be the gearing inside the pump, which is inside the tank here. Um, I will be totally honest. This is the first time I've had one of these pumps apart, but I'm, I, I know exactly how they work. It is, they're really simple. So uh, I'm going to do most of this in sort of real time. So... Just undoing bolts and stuff like that, I should probably speed up, but everything else. And hopefully this view here um, should be quite good for you. So you might be able to see everything I'm doing, but we're going to strip it down and find out what's broken. So ride along. So first thing I need to do is empty the tank. It's still full of oil. I'm going to empty as much as I can through the filler first into this little uh, pot I've got here. So this could be the first you've been framed moment where I cover myself in oil. No, nah, not really. I know it works. So, uh, they're quite heavy, these things. So, just to get rid of as much as I can out of there. And then we'll lay some paper down on the bench and actually pull the tank off. But just need to get rid of most of it first. Ah, just looking how this bracket's made. It's dead simple, isn't it? Some way to bolt it into the car. Yeah, very simple. So, I'll just rest this down for 10 seconds. Just, uh, uh, might take a little while for this oil to come out. Who knows, but I said I'm gonna do most of it in real time. So, yeah, you gotta watch the oil coming out. How's that about that for torture? But you can't even see it, can you? No. <laughs> That's the majority of it. I mean, I'm not looking to get in every part of it out because I, when I take the pump off, it'll be standing up anyway. So, right, let's get rid of this before I knock it over and cover myself in oil. I'm very clumsy like that. Right, let's run this. Oh, no, see, here we go. Right, let's put that back on there. Ah, right. Now, here goes a little bit of time lapse because I'm just going to undo these four bolts that hold the tank onto there. I'm making some big cock ups in filming today. If you could, you've been framed this, this would be the moment. Um, I pressed what I thought was a record to start recording, taking this piece off of here and I realized I hadn't pressed record so 
I then pressed record again and then realized I'm actually recording in time lapse. So there's me pointing and doing all this. Probably very quickly, you'll see. I'm still going to leave it in because it'll be funny. Um, yeah, and I realised I'd actually got it on time lapse. So now, here we are. You can actually hear me now, and I can do all these hand movements, and you probably understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, taking that off of there. Big chunks of metal on here. So the problem is actually inside on the end of the motor. So it's probably the drive key goes to the end of the motor, and not in there. That's where I thought it would be. I thought it would be the actual gears um, that do the pump that were going to fail, but no. It's got to be in there so uh, I'm just gonna pause it for two seconds while I go and get some spanners 10 mil spanner to go and undo the back of the motor Woo, and I'm back right we now have our pliers just to pop this clip over if I can balance it right let's do it that way that'll be easier when it there we go just want to get that off chuck that in the tank down there turn that that way I've got to undo um, yes I think it is those two they go right through to the block so oh 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 they're not 10 mil okay then right another pause oh smurf hands now by the way um, it's never good to get contaminated oil on your fingers is it so bit of uh, PPE I suppose very unusual for me but there we go but yeah you go pause again I'm just gonna find the correct size spanner for that it's strange it's not 10 mil but there we go well Imperial I don't know if you can read that three eighths okay and that fits fits lovely there we go these should be very long bolts as I say hold the motor oh what's going on here oh it's the little plastic sleeves come out right a little bit of uh, persuasion. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not all that holds it on. Sure it is. Yeah, sure that's all that holds it on. There's no other visible. There's only these which hold the end cap for the motor on. Maybe it just needs a little bit more persuasion. Yeah, there we go. That's come apart now. And that, in theory, should separate. Here we go, it is coming. Ah, there we go. Oh, and there we have it. Let's just shift that to one side. There's the piece which has shattered, just inside that bearing there. So yeah, it is the end of the motor itself. That's the bit that turns, yeah. I think I'll just be able to lever that bearing off easily, I doubt it. No, let's get some puller on that and pull that off. So yeah, um, that's that really, isn't it? So at least we found what's caused it. And that's silly, tiny little drive like that. Just driving that. You'd think it'd be a nice spline or something like that, wouldn't you? But for that, just a shatter. Okay then, well, there we have it. There's the strip down and there's the fault. So if it was possible, I don't know, would it be possible to get another motor, I suppose? I suppose it might be. Yeah, so it might live another day, but obviously not on this car, not at this time, but there you go, Reese. I shall put this back together for you. And uh, if you buy another motor at some point, mind you, the end of the pump there is damaged as well. Yeah, it's all rounded off on the end, so. Uh, throw it away, mate. Throw it away. That's what I suggest, but there we go. Right, um, yeah, so that's it. That concludes our little strip down and diagnosis of what went wrong with that. So, hope you enjoyed. See you again soon.